Okay, I really hope this is recording because I literally just did the whole video and I realized that it wasn't recording. I have no clue what happened. I hit the button, it made the noise, but that's Apple for you. And so another Apple problem. Say uh, you guys are tired of iMovie using up so much space. You may not even know it, but that's probably what it is. It's probably what's taking up all your dang space. And if you want to find out, you want to get this little program called Grand Perspective or something similar to that, check this out. It visualizes all the space, all the storage being used on your Mac on any drive or folder actually. So you see, I click on a little thing like that and you go down there, it'll show you the sp how much space it's taking up. 7.36 megabytes, not bad. And that's some, <laughs> that's from Minecraft, nice. Go to this one, that's another game. I don't play games all that all day, uh, those are just there. And then there, there's something from iMovie, blah, blah, blah. Random stuff, right? And then you might be wondering, What's this? This is like twice the size of everything else on the entire effing computer. Well, let's take a look. That's iMovie. Big surprise, right? 70 freaking gigabytes. Who would have guessed? iMovie, really? An Apple product? Well, yeah, that's going to be the thing taking up all your space. Me, I have got rid of the problem. I just haven't refreshed this. So fortunately for me, this is, uh, that's gone. So if I go over here, about my Mac and I want to check out my, my storage details, you can see I have 74 gigabytes free. That used to be this. <laughs> so I got rid of that. Now let's get to how you do that. Because most people would think you make a movie and you want to delete some of the stuff, you just delete that. And you're like, okay, it's still here. It's still in my events or library. So I'll delete that. It turns red for whatever reason. It didn't delete it. You know, forget it. Delete all of that. Come on, just get out of here. Delete media from event. Delete media from event. Delete. Whew. You think it's gone? No. Now it's in your trash bin. <laughs> so there's actually two files for it, which is a little odd. So now you gotta go there. You gotta empty your trash. Now it's gone. Just kidding, it's still there. I'm literally not kidding. It's actually still there. So how you're gonna find you deleted it twice, almost three times actually. So your good old Mac still didn't delete you for it, or delete it for you. So now what you're gonna want to do is you gotta go into your little iMovie folder, sort of on the Finder view of things. So the way you're gonna do that is a few different ways, but for you guys, just go go to Desktop on Finder. If this thing to focus, then go up here. See where my cursor is? Now take two fingers and do the sort of the two finger click on there and then go to your your username and now you're gonna go to the movies file folder whatever it is and now this is how you get in this is how you go deep take those two fi fingers again click iMovies library and then set show show package contents one second all right so now, once you're looking in here, you see that? Underscore, underscore trash. That's literally a big pile of garbage. You don't want that. Double click on that. You see this? You see this crap? That's what we just deleted. Yet, it's still there in full freaking size. God, come on. So highlight this. Move that to trash. That's the third time you've deleted it. Maybe even fourth. And then you have to go to the trash again and empty it boom the fifth time you had to delete that I want to curse really badly you wanted to you had to delete that photo five times what the F okay so now you're good that's how you delete a, a freaking file you don't want and plus when you put these things in here Say it's for well, this actually works better as a video, so I'm gonna drag this in here. I'm gonna have to delete this freaking thing five times, too. My goodness, that was a mistake. So, watch this is me. I think I <laughs> all right. So, it's a big video, and it's a lot of time where the camera's just sitting there, and I want to trim it. I'm not trying to teach you guys how to edit, you're probably better than me if you've seen my videos. So, watch, I delete that. And I delete that. 
but it still it saves this and it saves the entire video you see that little orange thing right there that's all it's using but it still has that whole video saved so that's why it takes up space because even though you think you only have a little bit of it it saves the entire thing and it actually has another one right here it saves so it's like it literally triples the file you have it on your desktop wherever then you have it here and then you have the portion you cut here so that's where your space is going guys I'm just letting you guys know so now I need to delete that it's not gonna let me because it's here hopefully you guys are understanding me now. I'm gonna delete it from my trash even though that's not gonna delete it but I just want to feel like I, I deleted it Whew. okay so now I'm gonna show you how to uh, edit a movie because it's gonna take so much space you're just gonna be like what the f like I can't it's, if it's gonna duplicate things three times I'm just not gonna have enough space for my movie so that's when you're gonna want an external hard drive that's four terabytes right there and I think it was only like a hundred bucks so when you go to here to libraries everything you've been doing unless you've done this is gonna be like something called iMovie library and that's gonna be the library on your actual disk in the computer your hard drive or solid state drive whatever it is and we don't want that because it's too small for a program that duplicates things three times so go to file once you hook this up just plug it plug it in go to new oops what am I doing go to open library my bad and then there's that one and this is the one I made see external hard drive for terabytes you're gonna do that you're gonna hit new boom and I'm gonna name it big boy actually big girl so big girl that's gonna be my new my new one what the heck you see how weird this thing is I'm just trying to I'm trying to exit this okay and then where do you save it this is my this is my computer so don't save it there but save it here Mac that's just what I named this external hard drive save it to that and click save I'm not gonna do it because I'll probably have to delete it ten times but it's gonna pop up like this this is what I named my one for that I just called it external 4 terabyte iMovie whatever whatever sorry I gotta pop up so we have this here and you're gonna want to transfer all your stuff to here so I'm gonna show you what it looks like oh this is a movie this is perfect so I'm gonna drag that there this is gonna be basically your hour-long movie you want to transfer so go back I'm gonna name this test and now you're here this is all your stuff and okay all projects right there there's test this is your project this is the one that's on your computer and you're gonna to want to move it go there hit move to library move it to your external one you just made it's gonna load it's gonna do that and now it's there it doesn't look like it but if you go here to all projects you can sort them by where it, where it is so if I go to my external hard drive you see it's on there but if I go to my iMovie library it's on my computer it's not so you're also gonna to want to go to your libraries and you're gonna to want to move all this stuff see remember this part is on my computer this is the external hard drive you're gonna to want to make like a new folder or something in here a new library new event I'm also gonna name that test folder so this is on the hard drive then you're gonna to want to go to your computer and you're gonna to to move all those files what the move them to your external hard drive now you can see they're there but they're still gonna be here as you guessed it so you're probably gonna to have to do that deleting thing like five more times mm -hmm. so now you're successfully working off of your external hard drive and you should be able to edit things like a normal computer would well I hope that's all I really hope you guys can uh, go to my channel and check out some of my videos that I've made using this very method you see all this this is all on my external hard drive it's actually gonna be a really cool video believe it or not let me give you guys a teaser I'm stealing your time watch this look at these crazy monkeys
It's a little slower because it's on the hard drive. See that? <laughs> That's in Singapore. We'll give that a like. By the time this is up, the video will probably be up. And that was all playing off the external hard drive, so you can laugh at their little storage problem now. And you can enjoy your four terabytes or whatever space and deal with the deleting part later. Oh, well, I hope you guys like this. I'm going to get back to working on that video. So peace out. Thanks, and please subscribe.